a bygone era, the late 19th century, the heyday of the British Raj. A backward country, the people superstitious. Famine and epidemics occurred time and again. At a time like this came a man with a mission, Dr. Hafkin. The present director of the Hafkin Institute, Dr. Gaitonde, says, The world of Dr. Hafkin is not the world of snakes or snake charmers or of superstition. It is the world of science, science that alleviates human suffering and conquers disease. <laughs> Valdemar Mordecai Hafkin was born on March the 16th, 1860, in Odessa, Russia. From his early days at the university, he had the makings of a true crusader. He was trained at the Pasteur Institute in Paris under the renowned professor Louis Pasteur. After years of assiduous research, he developed a cholera vaccine in 1892. And in the spirit of a true scientist, he tried it first on himself. Cholera was raging in the eastern parts of India. Dr. Hafkin came to Calcutta to test his newly discovered vaccine in actual epidemic conditions. He traveled extensively in hazardous conditions, inoculating thousands of people. In contrast to many of the colonialists of his time, Hafkin came to this country with a missionary zeal to serve the people. The Black Death was ravaging Bombay and its neighboring areas. This is what Dr. Dalal, the oldest living Hafkinite, has to say. I was just a boy of when plague first broke out in Bombay in 1896. Our family had to go to our native place, Basin, which is 35 miles north of Bombay. Plague came to that village, my sister died of plague. Many thousands died in Bombay. Dr. Hopkins was transferred to Bombay in 1897. In 1899, Dr. Hopkins founded the Plague Research Laboratory, later on called the Bombay Bacteriological Laboratory, and now the Hopkins Institute. He occupied one room in the F.D. Pettit laboratory of the Grant Medical College. He worked day and night and developed a plague vaccine for the first time in the world. Dr. Hafkin inoculated himself with the plague vaccine to prove its safety. And only after he was fully satisfied did he launch his mass inoculation campaign. Thanks to the efforts of this great servant of mankind, plague has been wiped out from this country. A large amount of vaccine had to be prepared. The scene, therefore, shifted to the old governor's house. On the 10th of August, 1899, this building was inaugurated as the Plague Research Laboratory. This is the Darbar Hall. It was once a fortress of feudalism, In 
It is now a citadel of science. Since its very inception, the Institute has been deeply involved in research in tropical diseases. Snake bite is common in rural areas. The Institute has done pioneering work in developing an anti-venin, an effective remedy against snake venom. The Institute maintains one of the largest snake farms in this part of the world. There are many other fields of communicable diseases, such as cholera, typhoid, tuberculosis, rabies, poliomyelitis, etc., in which the Institute is working actively. Under the leadership of General Soki, the Institute expanded in the post-independence era and took up many challenges.
One of the important functions of the Institute is the training of scientists. It has attracted young scientists for specialization from all parts of the country as well as from abroad. I am Dr. Gendra Wahyono from Indonesia. I got World Health Organization Fellowship to study poliovirus. This is the only institute of the its kind in Asia which provides facilities for advanced research in virology. I am Sami Gurgis from Baghdad, Iraq. I got a cultural scholarship from the government of India for MSc in microbiology. I joined the Hopkins Institute Zoonosis Department in 1972. This institute has provided me unique facilities for research in microbiology. Microbiology is a very important subject for its close relation to tropical diseases. The Hafkin Institute has been waging a relentless war against diseases for the last 75 years. At the Platinum Jubilee, eminent scientists of the world pay homage to Dr. Hafkin. Alderman Hafkin, who laid the foundation of this great institute 75 years back, was Russian by birth. This institute now ranks among the world's leaders in research in biologicals. Thank <laughs> you.